Hi guys, welcome back. This is the part two of our Golang program that helps us get weather data of a city. And as you can see, our uh, Golang plugin is saying that we have two errors, hello and query, and there are uh, these squiggly lines below them. So these are both uh, two functions that we need to now start creating. So let's start creating the functions. The so the first function is called hello. So if somebody visits slash hello route, uh, the hello function will be called. And it, as you know, all functions take HTTP dot response writer, comma R and star HTTP dot request. And we're going to write hello from go new line. That's what we're going to write if somebody visits the slash hello route. And now we have to write the query function, which is basically the most important function in this uh, entire project. So we'll say func query, and it takes a city. As you know, it takes a city, right? It takes a city. And uh, which is, the city is obviously string. It returns weather data, and it returns error. So as you can see, it returns Weather data returns error. If there's no error, uh, if there's an error, which is, uh, then we will print out the error. Or if there's no error, then we'll send in the response, the uh, data itself. Okay. So we'll say API config, comma error, load API config. Load API config, we already written the function, which takes a file name. File name is called dot API config. You can see the file here, right? That's the file it will take if there is an error. We'll say return weather data comma error. Okay, and we'll say response. Now, uh, now we have to get into a response, the response from calling the API, right? So firstly, as you know, when we have to call an API, we'll say HTTP dot get, and then we'll write the name of the API. The link is HTTP and slash slash API dot open weather map dot org slash data slash 2.5 slash weather question mark app ID is equal to right and here we'll say plus API config dot open weather map key API right this one open weather map key map API key right from our API config file so our API config file is passed into the load API config function which returns the API config data the API config data comes here, and inside that we have our open weather uh, map API key out here, right? And that's what we attach to our uh, URL. And we also have to do one small thing. We have to pass the name of the city here as well. So plus as a query, we pass the name of the city the city that we've received here, right, which has been passed from one func main, and which we'll pass from uh, this part, slash with a slash, name of the city will be passed, the city itself will be passed here. Right, so I, I hope everything is making a lot of sense because this, this program is very easy compared to the other type of programs that we've already seen on our channel. So I'm sure you must be enjoying this video. <laughs> so we'll say return weather data comma error and we'll say differ response dot body dot close where C is capital and we'll define D as weather data and we'll say JSON dot new decoder response dot body to be able to um, decode the body and say decode and ampersand D We'll pass uh, the weather data here. And here we'll say if error 
if there's an error then that means error not equal to nil then we'll return whether data comma error and in the best scenario we'll say return t comma nil where error is nil and d is the weather data right so this one typo here now everything looks good and yes so one thing that i've not done here is actually this the value that is returned here the response that is returned from uh, calling this api we have to capture it in a variable called response that's how we that's how we have access to it here out here okay and we'll say comma error so all looks good uh, but i still feel there could be errors when we head over to our powershell so let's do that let's head over to our powershell you'll have to give me one second to do that powershell yeah i hope now you can see my powershell and now what we'll do is we'll say go build Let's say go run main dot go and see if there are there are any errors. They don't seem to be any errors. Uh, so now it's asking me uh, firewall permission. So I'm allowing access. Uh, you might not be able to see it as it's a pop up, so you won't see it in your on your screen. So back in our browser, what we'll do is we'll try to hit the API local host eighty eighty and we'll say slash hello, and everything seems to be working fine, right? So we get a hello from go. So what we'll do is here is we'll say slash weather and slash Mumbai and here it says temperature zero that means there must be something wrong <laughs> with the code right so what we'll do is we'll uh, switch back to our terminal uh, sorry our code window and see uh, what the issue is all about uh, so I'm guessing the issue has something to do with the API link because it's not returning any data uh, yeah, so you can see here I should have said and Q is equal to city, right? Query is equal to city, but I was I, I missed that out by mistake. And uh, now if we go back to our browser, oops, I can't go back to my browser. It seems uh, OBS is a big problem. Anyway, so now I'm back in my browser. Let's let's try running uh, this again. As in, let me restart my server. And let's try running this on the browser again. So let's hit this again. And so now we can see 305 Kelvin is the temperature in Mumbai. And if we said Delhi, it said 315. If we said Bangalore, let's say 303. Right, so that means any city in the world, you can put it here, and it'll give you the temperature in Kelvin in that city. How cool is that? <laughs> so, uh, if you've reached till here, you should be really proud of yourself. You've built a very nice program in GoLang uh, that gives you the temperature of any city in the world. And um, if you like this content, and if you want more of these, uh, if you want to watch more of these type of videos, then do subscribe. And thanks a lot for watching.